everybody, I am Vertigo, and welcome back to another episode on the Brain Fart server. I do believe this is episode 9. Perhaps. So yeah, I just got finished with a ton of speed mining through past that wall there. Hello, Pat. And yeah, I thought I would want to show you guys the results because... I seem to it seems to be quite different to what I got from the last one and I wanted to show you guys where I got the resources from so you don't claim me of going to creative mode on this server or whatever. So yeah. We have over nine stacks of coal ore and like six, seven stacks of iron, over eight stacks of redstone, very good, very good. Over a stack of gold and I which is really good considering I never used to get that much gold when I'm playing vanilla Minecraft. Nearly a stack of lapis is worth. Very good. But here's the main thing. 47 diamond ore. That is amazing, guys. I mean, just brilliant. And um, the funny thing is, as you can see, I went came straight down from the surface randomly. And I dug right into this dungeon here. It was a spider one. I broke the spawner because I was never going to go use it. Maybe because it's too low in the ground. Um, yeah, so it was fun doing that. And there's a caves, like many caves around this area here. Like up there and such. And all over the place. So I need to, I'm going to keep this ladder here and everything. Just in case I want to cave and I can't find a cave one day. So yeah. Uh, I'm just going to move all these resources back to my base and I'll be right back with you so see you then okay guys uh, I know I did a bit of like a load of ore mining from all the coal I got like a couple episodes ago but uh, isn't it just beautiful so that's all of the 47 diamond ore, ore there so how much do you think we're going to get so place your bets now And the results are in. Who's going to be the winner? And the total amount of diamonds from 47 diamond ore is a stack and 41. So, yeah. Congratulations if you managed to guess it right. Your prize is absolutely nothing. But thanks for complaining. Uh, yeah. So we've got stuff cooking up and everything now. Pat didn't like the joke. Um, so today, while I was speed mining, guys, I found it really, really difficult making the potions here. Because I had, like, all the items and bottles in that I would place in blah, blah, blah. Then place each item in. And I don't like it like that. I want it to be more convenient. More slick. More me so if you remember well, I can't remember how long it was now um, if you remember if we just come up for over here wait for the lag there you go if you remember this pixel art just around the corner here of the potion bottle we made well um, today we are going to go behind that potion bottle and make a potion room to my start to my standards to what I want my making potions experience to be like and I think I have the design I want to use in said potion room already figured out based on well not based on purely from a video a video I saw a while ago so yeah I'm just going to show you that I'm just going to be right... Ugh. Let's start again, shall we? Uh, I'll be right back with you with the supplies I'm going to need. Okay, guys. Uh, first of all, though, before we start work on the potion room, we should deal with the entrance to this thing. So, normally the thing would be sealed up like this. And I want to keep this pixel art look. So, what we are going to do... 
is placing pistons like that, and then like that, not like that, and then the, them down there. Clear some space above. And if you cannot tell already, we are making a little jeb door for the entrance to this place. I'm pretty sure the main basics of the jeb door we should all know and love. Um, it's pretty simple to be honest. You place some redstone here and one there. Then we need to place a repeater there like that. And if we activate that from here, you've got your Jev door. So this is the, this will be our input block here, I do believe, because we'll probably have an entrance way. Actually, we might do it similar to this. Have that, that there, there, and probably maybe two pistons even because I made two extras by mistake. <laughs> Yeah. Um, this will probably be the out. This will actually no, that won't. We'll look, wonder about where we end X trip later on. But now we need to find a secret place to put the button to get in. So we're not going to put it out in the open. We're not going to help other people get into our secret brewing room, are we? <coughs> so yeah, I'm going to find that spot, and then I'll be back with you. Okay guys, we have the line going to the secret place where the button is, I'm not going to say. It's not in a really hard place and there's a hint for you that it goes off in that direction. But um, yeah. Now what we, what I want here, obviously don't want to go that far away, um, in fact that there would probably be, or actually even that, would probably be the wall and where the wall starts, like right here and then we mainly go something on this side and then we have everything all the potion stuff um, there and there mainly because the chicken farms here and I don't want to get in the way of that really don't um, so yeah Let's start clearing out some space. And I'm going to use Exumavoid's design for an also brewer that I think was originally made by Codecrafted. Then it got broken and he did a redesign of it and fixed it. Which is actually very helpful. Um, so yeah, we got some space cleared out. Um probably not too far away from here like probably like right here even or maybe right there somewhere along here I'll set up a quick example and I'll be right back with you I'll be back with you once I've done that okay guys we got quite a bit some of supplies on us and I just want to correct myself from earlier while I'm building this um, this is not the design I was originally going for um, but it is now because I thought the things I want around my base I don't want them all to be like completely fully automatic so I can just sit here AFK and get all the resources I want that's not the type of base I want to have I want to have some stuff that's semi-automatic like this design here uh, now this design will be this design is from Kixi but the tutorial that I'm going from to build this um, is on Exumavoid's channel, and he, so I'll so I'll give a link to um both YouTubers um on their channels. Yeah, let's go that. See, so yeah, I'll give a link to the both of them. Um, oh God, so the chest will be there. So I want crafting table to be. Yep. Um, so yeah, this is quite a compact design. It's only three by 
Oh, actually, that could work better. <laughs> three by three by three. Um, just thinking, actually. Yeah, I'm going to want this to be one up higher. And the design I'm building is um, a three by three design. Which Exuma Voice also showed off in his tutorial. <coughs> Exuma Voice can do everything. Um, so we're just going to clear some space in the roof for this. So, yeah. I'm not really doing this in a tutorial manner because I haven't necessarily had the permissions required to make a tutorial on this. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, we've just placed the chest there. Uh, forgot I forgot the brewing stand, but whatever. We'll just deal with that later. For now, we'll put a block there instead. And, um... <laughs> but I think that is it. So let's just quickly go and grab the brewing stand. And yeah, the idea of this is it's kind of a potions on demand kind of design. Like I'll press the button, it'll give me potions. And then the machine will make new potions ready for the next time I press the button. Which I think is quite useful. Uh, I'm just going to grab all of these. And um, that last one I'll leave there just purely because of the water source problem. But I also want to do something different with this design because I'm going to be having um, many of those potions that set up things that you saw. I'm going to have a master chest to enter all the water bottles in. Because if we go back down there... Um, Uh, what ha what is happening is there's an input chest for water bottles there um, let's just quickly do this yeah just give me just bear with me so put chest for there with for water bottles but I'm probably gonna have a ring of um hoppers going into these different chests and with a master chest like maybe here along this wall somewhere well I'll put all the water bottles I need in there and then they'll just transport them to all of these potions things um so yeah it's looking good um so I'm gonna build some more of these and then I will be back with you with the with the design of the aesthetics design thing of this room so yeah see you in a second <sighs> okay guys we've got a design going here just let me adjust my mic sorry about the noise but yeah this is the design we'll probably be going stone bricks won't be for this front wall in fact uh, if i just let if you let me just give me some time to cross them up you can put that there yeah, here's our designs, and what I'm going to be doing here is put the backs of them, like colours like that, so you can just see glimpses of the colours, and different colours will represent different potions, like, sorry about that, that was my phone, <laughs> like the orange will be fire resistance, the blue will be night vision, I also have some other colours, uh, light blue will probably be speed, this might be strength, or I think I had another plan for that instant health etc etc um so yeah and the idea is i can't change my mind because i realize that i can just get away with breaching the chicken farm there and hopefully if we come out here i haven't had a look yet that's the only notable solution 
that's the only notable difference sorry and if I do such such like that then it looks like it's meant to be there at least but yeah tiny details tiny details so yeah um just place that there Lower. Hmm. Oh, I think I know. Um. <laughs> oh, I love myself. I really do. Um. Yeah, the button has to be on this block here. So we'll just do that and that. Break this and this. And then... Let me out, please. Um... Like so, uh, where did that extra chest go? Oh my god, <laughs> this is failing. I'll sort these out. I will sort these out and build some more. And I'll be back with you when we've done all of the poster stands we want to make. Okay, guys, just a quick clip here. I am in the never collecting glowstone, lovely glowstone. Oh, it's a bit loud. And yeah, here's this nice little thing, just resting on this little, whatever it is, I think it's floating. And these these pieces of, um, these veins just make me so relaxed, like, uh, like, not on a pillar or anything, not having to worry about getting shot off and dying. No, no, no! Well, having to worry about the glass blowing up the glowstone, but not having to worry about like getting shot off and dying. But I do have a fire resistance on me, as you can see, anyway. Um, so yeah. Uh, I also just wanted to talk about something. Um. Oh god. Um. I'm quite excited about the 1.8 update. I don't know whether you guys are, but yeah, I'm excited about it. But. I want to ask you a question. What is your favourite part of the 1.8 update? Because for me, honestly, it's probably the repairing. I mean, the repairing is just so easy now. And it, it goes against that thing where like people complain about, oh, you're making Minecraft too easier. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Minecraft is now too easy or something like that. But sometimes you just need those relaxing things in the game. Like things that aren't that hard to do. But are still... Things that aren't that hard to do. But still take time. Like it takes time to get the levels. Well, actually not really. Ugh. You just need the... Sorry. Let me start again. You just need the relaxing things in the game sometimes. Just the things that you can easily do. That keeps you going. I don't know why I'm not collecting any of this. Lag, maybe? Oh. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Come on, eat. Eat, damn you. Eat. Voila. <laughs> uh, well, um, yeah, I guess that ends this off this segment of the video. So yeah, I'll be back with you with those finished brewing stands. Okay, guys, uh, it is like the next day, maybe two days later now, and I've done a lot of work in my mind. So let's have a look, see. So um, yeah, we have um, all the colours for the different potions here, as you can see. And um, this section here will probably be like, 
up there, it will either be a load of brewing stands for when I want to just brew normal potions that are kind of like off the topic of these machines here. Or it would probably be the deposit chest for the water bottles I was talking about earlier that would come to all of these chests up here. Or it will become both. I do not know. I don't really care. So let's have a look at this design. Uh, we have a slightly dull coloured ceiling. But I kind of wanted that to highlight the side panels and the flooring secondly. And I wanted the ceiling to be like glass. So we've got some quartz on the floor with the crafting tables for whatever reason. And um, we've got these things in here. Um, and then we also have an access area for all of these in case I need to refill the droppers in them. So let's just go have a look at that. So yeah, it's I just made it completely out of stone brick with some redstone lamps where needed. <coughs> um, yeah. As, as you can see, you can access the side droppers up there, and I made it a bit sneaky. Uh -huh. And it's all like that, pretty much, for the whole thing. Because I, and yeah, I used stone bricks, getting someone to keep it clean out here. Um, that will be a window, so I might just do that. Most likely not. Uh, but I'll put a window in there later. <coughs> Sorry about the cough, so I'm living in England, you can't blame me. But yeah, the main reason why I um moved the, a potion set up there to, from the, there to back here and made that as it was, because uh, I wanted at some point... Oh, uh, yeah, I wanted at some point for the uh, chicken coop here we, to have an item filter... But so to make sure all the chickens were going to this chest here and all the feathers were going to this one because that's probably the other way around at the moment I have to have this slot open here because some of the feathers still go down the hopper and into here they don't want to go straight forward into this chest so yeah that's what that's like um but yeah <clears throat> it was much fun making this room. So now we're just going to do the final part for it, which is going to be the pathway. I honestly don't know what to do for this pathway. Um, give me a second and I'll grab the supplies for it. Oh, sorry, guys. <coughs> yeah. Um. So, I have done the basics of the pathway here we're gonna simply just climb down the staircase the casters will continue round like that to keep it flow but then this level will come down here it's only sort up up there because that needs to be lit up somehow <coughs> um you know what actually <laughs> Let's do this on camera. I'm just going to keep this uh, flat pixel out. Oh, sorry about the car outside if you heard that. I don't think it would affect it too much if it was blank like that. But yeah. So that's how that looks like. And uh, down here, <laughs> looks like that. Um, so... So, we are just going to do some things. Oh. <laughs> okay, do you want to make your modern house? Uh, yeah. So, we're just going to do this. And... This. Uh, now I think for here at least. Oh, shut up. Car outside. Um, that's probably going to go there and there as well. But it's just like to show that it's got support, for example. 
Um, but then I feel like, hmm. I want to blend that in as well, though. Actually, actually, hmm. Um. Yeah, um, let's go grab some stairs. Because, um, I want to blend that cobblestone in with the landscape. Make it more fluent and such. But I think the pillars and the fence and all that are going to be too close to the wall. To the point where they will connect up to them. If I try to do that. And I don't want to have to sort that out. Let's just, just grab all of those. So we're just going to try out some different things. And um, yeah. Let's just grab that quickly. Oh yeah, by the way. Start an episode, guys. We will be fighting the wither. Another one. That's why I wanted to make this brute potion room. So I could just grab potions. For when I say I want to fight a wither, for example. And when I don't. Okay, so let's just jump back down here. Okay, so mate, what if I did this? What if I lined... They're all like this. Uh, I need to grab. Oh god. There we go. I need to grab you from there like so. Oopsie. Okay, so let's try and do this on this side first. Okay, so we've got that going there. Um, maybe I'll just connect it down like so. I think would be the best option. Alright, you're going to get irritating. Uh, so we'll just do that there as well. And um, yeah, that looks alright. If you ask me. And the sun is setting. Which sets a perfect mood. For the end of the episode. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Because. Uh, yeah this episode was hard. To do. Because for you guys who follow me on Twitter know. I've been having trouble finding time to record this video. So. Finally finishing it. And saying. It's done has almost lifted a massive weight off my shoulders. Oh, okay, that one. Okay. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and f subscribe to see more. Brain fart and hopefully overcast because I'm. Because um, if you guys remember Tiago from the latest video, yeah, since we're IRL friends, I can record with him pretty much any day. I want so I want to bring back overcast as much as I can so yeah try, try, hopefully you should be expecting a lot more videos on that and don't worry they won't all be from with Tiago I will find some other people like from my project Harry's team maybe um, but yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed again don't forget to leave a like I cannot stress that enough and yeah I'll see you again next time Bye.